Welcome back to the second part of the introductory lesson on matrix transformations. This part of the lesson will focus on determining a pre-image of a matrix transformation. We are given matrix A and the transformation T of vector X equals A times vector X. Because matrix A is a three by three matrix, we know we have a transformation from R3 to R3. We're asked to find the pre-image of the vector negative four, one, negative five. This means you want to find the input vector x in R3, given that the output or image t of vector x equals negative four, one, negative five. So for the transformation, we know matrix A times the unknown vector x, which is in R3, and therefore it has three components, x1, x2, x3, must equal the output or the image, which is the vector negative four, one, negative five. Let's go ahead and solve this using an augmented matrix, where the first row was one, negative two, zero, negative four. The second row was one, one, two, one. And the third row was one, negative three, negative one, negative five. The next step is to write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done to save time. Row one is one, zero, zero, two. Row two is zero, one, zero, three. And row three is zero, zero, one, negative two. So the first row indicates that x sub one is equal to two. The second row indicates that x sub two is equal to three. The third row indicates that x sub three is equal to negative two, which means vector x equals the vector two, three, negative two. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, we are given matrix A, which is a three by three matrix, as well as T of vector x equals matrix A times vector x, and we're asked, is vector V in the range or output of T? Well, if it is, there must be some vector X such that matrix A times vector X equals vector V. So we're trying to answer the question, matrix A times an unknown vector X equals vector V, and that's a question. So we'll set this up. Again, we have matrix A times the unknown vector X equals the vector in the range, which is the image the vector negative three, two, negative five. Again, we'll set this up as an augmented matrix where the first row is one, negative two, negative four, negative three. Second row is one, one, two, two. The third row is negative two, four, eight, negative five. Next, we write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which again, I've already done to save time. Row one is one, zero, zero, zero. Row two is zero, one, two, zero. Third row is zero, 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 one. Let's go ahead and label the first three columns, x sub one through x sub three. Notice we have a problem in row three Row three indicates that zero equals one, which of course is never true. We have a contradiction, which means there's no solution to the system or no solution to the vector equation, which indicates vector V is not in the range of T. I hope you found this helpful.